HealthExperiencesUSA.org brings patients' diverse voices to American healthcare. This video tour helps you understand more about how. The homepage shows you a little bit about the Health Experiences Research Network and our methods. Each research project that uses these methods is called a module. The first DEPEX module created in the United States is about depression in young adults. 38 young adults across the United States shared their stories via an interview with an experienced qualitative researcher. Select See and Hear These Young Adults Describe Their Experiences to access this module. Clicking on this link will bring you from the healthexperiencesusa.org site to healthtalk.org, which is currently housing the depression module. Each module summarizes what was learned from its associated patient experience research study, so the participants' stories captured in the module have been rigorously collected, analyzed, and synthesized using scientific methods. A module includes roughly 350 video and audio clips that have been systematically organized into an online resource freely accessible to anyone. Today, we will take a look at the USA's inaugural module on young adults' experiences of depression, starting with the overview page. In the left-hand column, you will notice five overarching categories in orange text that organize the content of the module. Within each of these broader categories are topic summaries that break down the content more specifically. Within each of the topic summaries are more specific subsections where the study's findings are presented. The text around the participants' video and audio clips frames each topic with clinically relevant facts and summarizes additional insights from the interviews. The website structure is designed to make the content of the module easy to navigate for anyone who accesses the site. Now that you have an overview of the site, let's take a look at one of the topic summaries, depression, medication, and treatment choices. As we mentioned, the subsections illustrate the range of perspectives captured in the research studies interviews. These subsections include deciding to go on an antidepressant or not, how medication can help, finding the right medication and dosage, side effects and other issues with antidepressants, and deciding to discontinue medication or use medication long term. Now, let's take a look at a few videos with participants talking about some of these issues in their own words. I continue to take my medication, you know, the medication did take, you know, about a month to get in your system, and after that I was, I felt amazing. I was like, I cannot believe that this is how I was supposed to feel my entire life, but I've never felt this way before. I've never felt like that cloud wasn't hanging over me anymore. I was on a lot of different medications before I found the right one. And it took a long time to find the right one, but when I did, it helps so much. Like, it really does. It was one of the reasons that I got, or that I had to get off the medication was that there was some creative block, or like, it wasn't even like I couldn't be creative because I could make music that sounded good, but it did like, nothing for me. We hope you enjoy exploring our website and learning about our work and people's health experiences. 